Hey guys, let me jump right in before we start the entire video or the audio portion at least. Uh, please forgive me for the really bad background noise, especially like the raspy thing. That's just some rain and a lot of wind. And I happened to record the voiceover for this video when the storm was at its peak. So I didn't expect the background to be that bad since in my previous videos it didn't really pick it up. But I guess it was just that bad. So. Right, sorry. <laughs> Let's get on to the video. Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a traditional piece, and we are using just pencil and black ink. So, I recently bought this um, brush pen with black ink inside called the Kuretahe Cambio, uh, well, Kuretahe Cambio brush pen. So, it's a nice brush pen. It seems to be waterproof to some extent. There's a little bit of um, bleeding, I guess, or it transfers a little when you swish it a bit in water, but it's not that bad, to be honest. It's really nice. Uh, I just need to practice how to do like really fine tip lines and stuff like that. But yeah, it's pretty much just a brush with black ink inside. So, um, about the theme of this video, um, I was a little bit reluctant releasing it. Uh, it was meant to be something of a political piece. Um, I belong to this organization back in college that published artwork submitted by the community. So that means students, alumni, faculty, even like the janitors can submit their art. So that can be poetry. Uh, fiction, non-fiction writing, art, art so like art, it's painting, uh, what what have you, whatever form of art, or could be deemed as art, you can submit it there and you would publish it in this like folio, or this this little book, and yeah, it would showcase works of the community, and that what that org does is that they they would filter or judge, yeah, or uh, in a subject. As subject, objective rather, in an objective manner as possible, they would evaluate that art and if it's good for publication, we would publish it. And I used to belong to the art staff or visual arts and recently we put out a call for contribution and it was tackling or it wanted to tackle um, the role of art in politics or how it would deal with politics. Because as you know, usually art is seen to be something in a bubble that doesn't usually always meddle with the things around it. Of course, granted, there are a lot of artworks and artists that would do art or painting in response to what's happening around them, but there's just this notion that art is not connected with the rest of the world. That being said, I'm currently or I have always been living in the Philippines. I am Filipino by blood and by nationality. And if you are not familiar with the situation in the Philippines, um, depending on your political stance, it's good or bad. First being, there's a martial law in the lower half of the country. So the Philippines is divided into three sections, that being Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I am in Luzon. Um, but in Mindanao, there's martial law. And depending on your political side, you could view that as good or bad. The thing that um, really outrages people is the amount of blood being spilled and the way that the president is going about certain things. But there, he has a lot of supporters and sad to say, it's not something I really agree with. So. I didn't really want to get super political, I just wanted to talk about the piece, but art, my my art isn't always connected with what's happening around me. Um, and it's not that I'm detached with what's happening around me, I just tend not to make those the subject of my art. But when I saw that call by my organization, I for once felt compelled to do something, to draw something in response or as a reflection of what's happening around me. 
So you may click away from this video if you deem it's too political, or if you suddenly hate me because I have different views than you, but yeah. Yeah, that's what this piece is about. It's political, it's a response or an expression of how I feel about what's happening. And as a citizen of this country, I really can't continue ignoring what's happening. <laughs> it's a heavy it's a heavy thing. So let's talk about the process, shall we? Since I understand that probably my viewers aren't I, I like when I look at my another text it says that a lot of my viewers are from the Philippines, but I'm not really just targeting the Filipinos as my audience. I am also targeting the international community. So let's talk about the process. So you know the backstory, you are free to do your own research, you are free to disagree with my views on this, and like I don't see any reason to hate me just because I decided not to support what, or rather the methods of our president regarding certain topics. So this is my first time using a really brushy brush pen, so I'm more used to like the one for markers, like for example, the Copics and my favorite Castle Pit artist pens use a nib that and that's like somewhat like a brush nib. So these black ink pens are actual bristles, brushes. And while I'm pretty used to using brushes, using it for ink is something that's new to me. I am not very well versed with using ink. Sure, I used them in a night in high school, and, but that was just, but that was just like gel pens, and that's not really something, you know, like this. And I'm not really used to working with things that cannot be reworked with water. And not to mention, it's pure black, and I really did intend the piece to be pure black, but it was surprisingly tricky to try to find ways to make the things, or the shapes of the piece, stand out and still look like it's part of the piece and it is also tricky not to overwhelm the piece with just black and black and black and black. The balance of trying to find enough white space to make it not overwhelming was pretty tricky for me. This is my first time but I really do like how it turned out. I did submit it to the art publication though I thought it would get in since like I don't know. <laughs> I just have a feeling it won't. So the concept here really was, okay, the theme I had in mind when I first sketched this out was like a fetishization for blood or so, so I wanted to express that by having our person be in a model-like pose. So like, you know, those Vogue magazine type poses or those aesthetic photos you see of somebody lying down, it's like curvy and sexy and somewhat erotic. I wanted to try doing that, but I didn't really completely manage to pull that off with uh, with this, since the black ink pen and usually I'd use like different colors to sort of add like shadows and highlights, but since it's all black, I kind of had a hard time doing that. And it just means I need a lot more practice with ink and ink pens, and Inktober should be coming up pretty soon, and I might try it with that, <laughs> but yeah. So it's a pretty short and simple piece, but it's something that was meant to be really heavy. Even if, even if it doesn't really come across to the viewer, for me it's heavy, since I rarely do heavy political pieces. And it's rare that I would be moved enough to try to make it work in response to my surroundings. So the, I guess the question remains that my publication post, what is the role of art in politics, in the political sphere, in, it, in how, if it can, how can it influence the political climate of the country that you're in? For me, I believe that art has a has the power to be very moving. On Facebook, it tends to be shared around a lot, especially now in the digital age. It's very easy to get to get like your art out there, 
especially when it's an art that a lot of people resonate with. So, art isn't just something you do in a bubble. The artist is influenced by their surroundings. And the question becomes, will that artist create things based on what they see around him or her? So, I guess I'll end the video here for now. I do use my... Well, just to follow it up, I do use my favorite castle polychromos to try to darken some areas, but I don't think it really worked out. But either way, I'll end this video here. Um, if you liked this video, please feel, to, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of art, so like I do a lot of fan art, um, anime art, traditional and digital, mostly in watercolor. Digital is digital. I actually do some other stuff here and there. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.